Alright, what's up, Yins guys? Welcome to the show. It's the show, it's the show, it's the show. It's the asshole cooking show. It's the asshole cooking show. And this is the show uh, where you uh, just jump, dive right into cooking, jump into it, and just do whatever. And uh, if you improve, then you improve, you know what I mean? Uh, a hit and miss type of thing. You can only get better. What's the worst that can happen? But anyway, yeah, we're going to do some uh, bacon wrapped potatoes. I did this before. I put some pictures and sent them to uh, friends on social media. And I didn't record it. And it was successful. I could have made a show the last time, but I didn't do it. So we're going to do it this time. And I've seen some things on uh channel uh where people can really do some really cooking everything from barbecue barbecue pit boys channel and other kind of barbecue channels where people have done bacon wrapped hot dogs bacon wrapped potatoes bacon wrapped this bacon wrapped that and i did these this is this this was successful so we're gonna do it so let's get started right hopefully i got enough of bacon i'm gonna go ahead and uh we're going to have cheese, which is going to be melted into it later. And we're going to open the open up the bacon. But first, we're going to select four good, decent-sized tators. Really, I think I might be a little bit choosier about my taters. These look all right. Okay. These two here. I think I did had larger ones the last time. This bag has all smaller ones. All right, so I got those out. And we're gonna open the bacon. Hey, for one thing, I might be a little bit more choosy about my potatoes. But anyway, I forgot. I gotta start this up at about 400 degrees and then press this and it'll beep when it starts getting hot. But first of all, I'm gonna take these out of here for some second. What I'd like to do, if you're on a group, on using a grill or um, even doing this, you can wrap each potato in foil, but I'm not going to do that. Oh, I'm going to take some of this anyway, because I don't want to see anything sticking to the pan. Because sometimes you can uh, wrap it in foil, each potato, but I'm not going to do that. I, well, when the last time I did this, I didn't do that. Um, but you, if you're putting these on a grill, you can wrap the bacon and then, you know, wrap, wrap each potato in foil, but. All right, so I cut my bacon open with the scissors. I have it opened. I'm going to get ready here to do, I'm going to get ready to adjust this camera because so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so I got the camera going here. Got this bacon and I got the I'm going to try to do it so that you can see what I'm doing, and I'm going to need two hands for this. I don't want the camera to be sliding around while I'm trying to do this too and have it fall. I'm going to get these out of here. I'm going to take this bacon and put it up, and i got this handful of bacon. And I'm going to just peel, start peeling bacon off. And I'm, what I'm going to do here is just put it around the tator like that. Put it down and then I'm going to take another. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this. We're just going to. These are smaller potatoes, so we're going to just improvise. I'm going to wrap that there like that. Pick, put the potato down here. Jeez, I wish this bacon would be a little bit better and not so damn fatty, but it doesn't matter because it's going to cook into the fat, the potato, and whatever so all right so we got that wrapped on there like that nice I like the, the bacon being fatty it doesn't matter you know but geez these ones I bought that it's the same brand Sugardale last time and man this is fatty as hell it's damn near nothing but fat but that's okay because it's gonna make the potatoes nice and soft and then cook see I the last time I made these I wish the hell um, I recorded it. I would have recorded it because I had a bag of bigger potatoes. I really should have uh, paid more attention to this bag of potatoes I got. I just picked up a bag of potatoes. 
I had bigger ones, the potatoes were bigger, it's just all what's in the store right now. You might have had it where they're picking, you can get bigger, smaller potatoes and buy them intentionally, but then again, you know, just like anything else, like vegetables, you got to wonder if the supply is getting low, they're picked during this time, and then they pick the last of the potatoes, and that's what it is, they, you know, they're running out, the farmers just sell whatever, then, well, you get the small potatoes, or if you see vegetables, you've got the small tomatoes and the big tomatoes, you know, I mean, and for whatever you want to cook, but it doesn't matter. You got to get it to kind of, well, it stays still here, but wrap it on up. And when these things are kind of against each other, you kind of like to, so I'm going to have to open up the other bacon. Damn it. Come on. So, um, even if the bacon kind of falls off per se, uh, it doesn't uh, really matter that much because you're gonna we're gonna slice it open later in the next steps, and then you know throw the cheese in it and heat it up a little bit more and then do it again. But all right, this last one, all because of this. Should I open up? I got a whole second packet of bacon, but you know what? This will be good enough like this. Should I just open a whole damn package of bacon just for? Or what I could do, you know what the hell with it. I have the second package of bacon open. I'm going to go ahead and just... I'm going to make a cup, do a couple of more. That one, just wrap it like that. And my hand's good and washed. You know. Slight calluses from doing knuckle push-ups here and there. and you know, Who cares, but I wash my hands and... Hey, if you, whoever's in the house is eating it, you know what I mean, who cares? But wrap it up like that. Try to do this real quick. Like, there, just, just like that. Some people, like I said, you can put these individually in foil. People do it on a grill. And if the bacon is really fatty, hey, that's just cooking in that, you know? And that's how potatoes soften. What you're basically going to do is just, um, going to cook in the fat and then what happens you just slice them you know with bacon in there and I'll throw the cheese on it and you can eat it that way or just melt the throw it in back in I can melt the cheese on top a little bit which I'm going to do and when you're in your kitchen you know once you take this out of the stove and slash them open you can throw it back in the you can throw the cheese right on there throw it back in the stove or just say screw it and throw it in a microwave real quick for whatever just to get the cheese melted or whatever but got some more residual heat in the um, oven you might as well just you do that so the cheese melts but doesn't damn matter but then we'll get to that you know the cheese is gonna go what happens is once I slash these open once when once I I check them in another hour or something like that once I cook them Plunge a knife in there and see if the potatoes got soft. And once it gets soft, take it out. Just slash it open, just like that, you know. Just that, then, then. Uh, okay, and these last two pieces of bacon. Okay, where was that potato that didn't get quite get another bacon? There it is. I was just gonna just do that. Get that back off of there. I was just yeah. Might as well make eight of them. There's room in a pan. And then we we don't have have it. We can always. We can't eat it all. We can always eat it later. Yeah, I was going to put eight potatoes in there, but four, five, seven potatoes are good enough. And this last bacon, hell with it, just throw it, you know, just like out an extra. Two packages of bacon. <laughs> My hands are all greasy. Yuck. Hands are all greasy. I don't want to touch the camera. Greasy hands. But uh, two packages of bacon barely covers like seven potatoes if you want to put one like that and one like that and like that on there. All right. So. All right. Here's what it looks like. Uh, just like that. Like I said, um, two packages of bacon sort of covers it up. 
I wish they weren't. So the good thing about them being real fatty is because, you know, they're not going to be dried out. But uh, you're going to have that bacon flavor. But I wish the hell I would have been more choosy and uh, got bacon that was a little less fatty too. But a lot of times you can go in the store and you look through them all. What the hell is the point? Sometimes that's basically all they got. You can Sometimes you can get better ones. If you look and sometimes that's basically it you know you might as well not be inconsiderate and then rummage through it all without putting all the bacon back the way you had it and be touching all of them and all that especially now somebody start bitching in the store so that's okay so that's the reason why i just picked up my go in the store grab my food you know grab some potatoes don't be so choosy searching through things uh and uh, since uh, we're wearing masks and we've got to go into stores, you know, people are going to be looking all, you're touching every single thing, just buy something and go. That's what I'd rather do anyway, so nobody bitches you. All right, so anyway, we're going to, I'm going to get some foil out of the drawer. This aluminum foil, I'm going to take a piece and cover the whole thing up so there's no uh, sizzling bacon. Uh, yep, there it is. That means it's preheated. And the noise, the beeping. So I'm going to cover this up so there's no sizzling bacon like the grease splattering in the stove. And i got to use Easy Off and all that. But This is a self-cleaning oven, but, you know, it smells funny. And even with a self-cleaning oven, that doesn't mean you don't have to clean it once in a while. So anyway, I'm going to cover it with foil and put it in. And you know what, guys? Something just occurred to me. I'm going to, before I put it in, I'm going to take this on out. What the hell? I'm going to leave four like this, and I'm going to wrap three of these individually real quick. You know, um, so I'm going to do that real quick, and you're going to see it. All right. So, to settle this, I'm going to do four like this, and then three like this. Like I said, the last time I did this, I didn't record it, and I did it like this, and it was fine. It was, su it was a success. So... If I want to put the cheese on stuff, I'm just going to have to undo all of that, which most likely it's going to be a pain in a damn ass, but I want to see how it cooks inside of this, because this is what you'd be doing inside an outdoor grill anyway. But if you've got some other kind of fancy gas grill or something where you don't got to wrap stuff and you got to something that you paid good money for that you can just, there's a tray that you can just remove and wash and all that. Happy horse shit, you know. So, okay. So, I'm going to just cover this up like that and put it in. Oh, also another thing. You know, I said happy horse shit. It can only be happy horse shit if it comes from the butt of a happy horse. If the horse isn't happy, then I don't know what you call it, but... All right, so I'm going to open this up. Don't foil. don't got to be perfect. I just don't want bacon grease splattering all over. So I got three of them wrapped individually and three of them not wrapped individually. Decided. All right, so we're going to... I'm going to put these potatoes away. And we're going to do this... Um, see you in about an hour. Stay tuned. Okay, grab this here and see what happens. Once again. Yeah, they're a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's. This is good. This is good. Yank this out of here. I usually have my other oven mitt. That. Damn. Fuck it. Close that up off all right here we go throw that oven mitt over there yep it plunges right in so we're gonna go ahead and get a dish here these ones i'm gonna open in a second i know what i'm gonna do i'm anxious to get this started so i want to show you to pull up and what we're going to do is just cut that, cut it, 
hold on, I'm going to get my cheese. Just a second. Open an envelope of cheese. So take another one. Ah. See how easy this cut? And the way I'm saying this bacon doesn't, it doesn't like matter. I like it to be crisp and all that, but it's real fatty. The potato is all that matters now. I like this to be a little bit neater on the plate, say, and more presentable to dinner guests, really. Turn this potato around. Say I wanted to make it more presentable to dinner guests or whatever, you know, fix it and decorate it. But take this, throw some on here. So instead of throwing it back in the oven, I'm just going to get it over with know how to melt cheese. I'm going to go ahead and... This is a little bit different rule here. I'm just going to do this to get the show, finish the show here. Man, i got to wipe off this front of this microwave. Jesus. Oh, these were these uh, knitting knitting needles that I meant to put with the rest of them. When we were moving, I found them in the box of... Somehow they wound up in the box of uh, kitchen utilities there. Just 30 seconds here. I wanted to melt some cheese real quick to show you what it looks like. But Yeah. It started melting a little bit. Knife and a fork and this didn't melt completely. Is it you think that's That's fine. Okay, here here you go. Here's yours. Oops. Thank you. Okay, um I'd rather see it melt and then just more dramatic for uh a uh, more presentable thing for dinner guests, but if it's just you and your partner, it doesn't matter. It's like not perfect. Like I said, this bacon, don't even think about it even crisping. It's like, you can tell it's kind of fully cooked. It's just, there's more fat in it. It's, I can make that crisper, that piece. And all I got to do here, I said, now I'm going to take take a look and open these ones here. See, this don't got to be perfect, say, if you're eating it anyway. And usually this bacon starts getting darker and crisper. Believe me, it's actually cooked. This is that fatty-ass bacon. There was a time where I did better, the better potatoes. This bacon, I couldn't find any better bacon. Throw that in there. Throw that in. A little bit of cheese. Just do. I put on my, whatever amount of cheese you like. How is it? It's good. Oh, you like it? You like it better or than better or about the same as the last time I made them? About the same. Same. Yeah, like I said, the bacon. By the time I was rooting through the bacon, that's about the best bacon I can find. At the time, you know, it's like fatty, <laughs> but I think that. Just throw that like about maybe 30 seconds. I can actually do more than that. And then we're going to see how these come out. And then that's going to be a no brainer with the rest. Ah, look at that. See? Just open these up. This will be for, for dinner later or maybe tomorrow. Yeah, it's the same. You know, just plunge that in there. It plunges in there so easy. Matter of fact, I can just <coughs> excuse me, reheat that later. All right, see, I can actually, if I wanted to melt these shreddings a little more, throw it in for another few seconds. See, I got mild cheddar and then sharp cheddar. I just went ahead and used the mild, but then I gotta go clean this kitchen. These three potatoes, you know, I mean, to nope, I don't gotta. Make no big deal with those. Yeah, they're knife plunges. 
excuse me, knife plunges into them uh, all the same. And yeah, cut them and just reheat them for later and then throw you. Matter of fact, I could, you know what I can do here before I finish this video. While, say, if I wanted to eat these later or maybe tomorrow, leave this foil and just make a couple incisions right there. Throw the cheese in there, close that foil back up. Throw it in the oven or whatever the hell. You know what? Hell, throw it in the oven. Take it out of the foil. Well, if you wanted to. You know what? What the hell's the point? You know, take it out of the foil or heat it in the foil. What else? Whatever the hell you want to do, be creative with it. I ain't going to keep on speculating, you know, make the, a nine hour long video. But anyway, yeah. I can fix this up and roll in the potatoes. I'll ever say I wanted to make it more presentable for dinner guests but hell for this crew me my partner and a cat which cats don't eat bacon or potatoes anyway but i'm just saying uh who cares but if i wanted to make it more presentable for a dinner guest that's what we do but anyway okay that's it that's the end of this video thank you for watching Thank you for watching the show, the show, the show. This has been the show, the show, the show, the asshole cooking show. This has been the show, the show.